Yet, as we celebrate all the achievements made so far, a number of our policies, programs, and other strategic interventions aimed at delivering necessary and urgent interventions of the bottom-up economic transformation agenda have been delayed, obstructed, and hampered by various challenges, including persistent litigation. There is nothing wrong with challenging policy and holding government to account. And in fact, the national interest is best safeguarded in an environment defined by the competition of progressive ideas, where a good proposal gives way to a better one. We all have a duty to make sure that the best ideas always prevail in enhancing the well-being of the people and making this nation prosperous and powerful. That is what our democracy exists to achieve. Having said this, you will agree with me that there is something fundamentally wrong with opposition without any viable alternative, whose only purpose is division, conflict, and anarchy. There is something wrong with litigation, sponsored by hostage-taking vested interests, with the sole aim to delay, derail, and sabotage the delivery of public programs and defeat public interest. Time and time again, Kenyans have clearly and manifestly demonstrated their devotion to pursuing opportunities for progress by voting for progressive policies, as they did in the last election. Kenyans are already are ready to propel their nation forward to greatness. What has held them back is a leadership invested in the status quo, which excludes the majority to benefit only a few. A politics comfortable with keeping millions in want and indignity to preserve the illegitimate privileges of a few, and a resultant institutional system in which the disenfranchisement of ordinary people is the yardstick of public policy. This should and must change. A new paradigm, my dear Kenyans, must be negotiated. There is an inevitable clash of ideologies at the moment that go beyond a mere conflict over choices. It extends to a disagreement between us as to who between the few who will power in the executive, legislature, and in the judiciary, and everyone else without distinction, who are the legitimate targets and beneficiaries of public policy. We are at the moment of reflection that calls us to revisit the first principles of our civil and political understanding, reevaluate the terms of our social contract, and place Kenyans, the ones we sometimes call ordinary, at the center of all national discourse. 